Jesus. Get declined. I keep it real while these fake niggas keep lying. I leave a broke bitch behind and chase money because my mind is set to constantly grind. Uh, these lame bitches get declined. I keep it real while these fake niggas keep lying. I leave a broke bitch behind and chase money because my mind is set to constantly grind. Came from the bottom, did bad, had to switch it. Now I use the rags that I had to wipe off my riches. Counterfeit niggas, I refuse to deal with it. So I make sure that clip that's up on that 40 is extended. Catch me lagging uh, till it's over. I'm a soldier, never catch me white flag. No. Building up my ego with all this money, I'm stacking. So you better get your bitch before I be diving in the back. I know and get that while niggas steady chit chat. I click clack that Big Mac and so you are with that. Get back for I push a wig back with this strap. I empty that clip at your pick out so bitch ass. So stay the fuck out the way of my cash flow. Cause I squeeze that metal that leave your body with a black hole. Lame hoes that try to hold on, I be fast those. Cause only the real bitch can into my chateau. I Get declined. I keep it real while these fake niggas keep lying. I leave a broke bitch behind and chase money cause my mind is set to constantly grind. Uh, these lame bitches get declined. I keep it real while these fake niggas keep lying. I leave a broke bitch behind and chase money cause my mind is set to constantly grind. Uh, I know a stripper that don't even like stripping. That's real shit. I fly to Texas to ask that girl Texas why she don't respond when I text her. Ooh, ooh, man, I'm out of my element. Cut off them lights. No time is Edison. Pull up to church. They mistake me for reverend. Blessings on blessings. That's her to my reverend. Here we go. Look. Man, fuck you and who you fuck with. I miss to kill everything. All my verses is execution. Shorty out here just stripping to pay her college tuition. All of these platinum hooks, I think I'ma take my son fishing. Shorty say that she dig me. I tell that bitch keep on digging. And once you bury your feelings, please pass the Shovel the Prius, all of my niggas with this. So the whole clique is with me. That's 20 lobsters on 20 plates. All my niggas eat with me. Bl blame that shit on the city. We move and do all these back streets. Niggas is hitting licks and they blow the money and swap me. Party in every hotel, a function in every lobby. Tell me who do you know made a million just off this hobby? Uh, and fuck you and all your confidence. Niggas sizing me up. Well, fuck you and all your measurements. Really, no strippers. I know them all by their government. Never pay them in cash, man. I just pay them a compliment. Two H's, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I'm from Lyme, I leave a pro bitch with me. Why? 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 Hey. Constantly grind. Constantly grind, like constantly grinding. Okay, that that track was hot. That Thank was you. real, real hot. You know, so we got five, six, two, um, God and Halo in the house. But um, just before, hopefully, they're going live on their Facebook too. Um, we're actually live right now. So if you guys want to download rmconair.com, you can do that. Also, too, if you want to call in and. Number Number is three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. So be sure you um you call in. But um I wanted to talk about a few things first. Um we got a show coming. <laughs> we got a show coming up tomorrow. It's the Wigging Out Radio Hip Hop and Entertainment Awards. Can we see that flyer up there? It's the Wigging Out Radio Hip Hop and Entertainment Awards. Um, there it goes. It's up hey. on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see the screen. I don't know if I'm positioning the camera. But anyway, here it go, right here. So basically, we expect a lot of people in the house. I mean, like over 100 people oh, reserved okay. to come in. You know, I just want to say this about the Hip Hop Award. I'm a single mother with three kids, you know, and I see the struggle that these um, up-and-coming artists go through. I see these underground artists. But, you know, what bugs me the most is that when somebody try to do something for these up-and-coming artists or these underground artists, y'all show no appreciation y'all don't know if people going into their life savings to do what they got to do for you guys and at least you guys could come out and show your appreciation i do think the ones 
I thank them very much for the ones who did come out, but I feel like if this is something that people say that they want, then they, they should get out. They should get out of their house and they need to come be a part of some. I feel like this, the reason why a lot of artists don't make it because they straight lazy. I'm just going to put it out there. How you going to make a song, let a few of your homies hear it and be like, you done already made it and did a couple of shows and then you got this Hollywood attitude. You ain't made it yet, boo-boo, unless you on the radio, 92.3, constantly they playing your song back to back where it's getting on people nerves you know what i mean are you on some uh revolt tv you have not made it yet so this is the start shows like me i'm wigging out radio i'm i'm a small show but this is where it happens at because a lot of people watch little small shows like this and these little small shows can get you put on like seriously so if you don't take your crap seriously you you know then who else is gonna take you seriously a lot of the artists who got nominated which was over a hundred artists happy y'all should have been out there last night but I, I don't understand maybe because I'm not an artist so I don't get it I don't get how you know oh I don't have to show up no like do you got millions of dollars in your pocket do you got money where you can throw out like that then you should be humble and support cuz I'm supporting now like I said I'm a single mother with three kids and I believe in you guys so uh, you gotta believe in yourself half of y'all are sure I mean you don't believe in yourself so I just wanna I hope that you guys come out it's at the Jasper Bar tomorrow the address is 3672 South Bristol it's in Santa Ana it's up in the parking lot and it's like shopping center so you know we're gonna have red carpet we're gonna have I'm asking every artist if you have a banner bring your banner out see I wanna do it different I want it, I don't want it to just be about wigging out because I've never been that type of person what I want to see is different people, different artists, different entertainment company, different production companies bring out their um, their posters, their banners, and let's just make it like colorful and diverse and just have them all hang it up. Up. and I think that that's great that'd be great publicity for everybody so it depends on you know where you guys are going with your career I just see it's just a lot of artists that just don't take their crap seriously and that's starting to bore me like seriously but anyway um Another thing I wanted to talk about is I do have a um, Oh My God Lit Tour. Um, some of the members of the tour is coming to an end, like Anthony V. I think he'll be performing his last time this Sunday coming up. So Anthony V is one of the ones that will be going on, to, um, I guess, by being a part of my tour. He, he got signed to some type of record label company or something and that's the whole point of my tour my tour is not to stay where you at my tour is to to get yourself out there so that you can go to the next level so i know anthony tomorrow will be his last performance so he'll be um performing tomorrow um i got a couple of artists too who also got new management and that will be going on i wanted to do um start maybe next week is do like a co-ed um Oh my God, lit tour, not just females, but I want guys and girls. I kind of want to mix it up. So I think it would be a great opportunity for everybody. Um, also, too, I'm doing a mansion party in the month of July. Well, the Oh My God tour and myself, we will be hosting a mansion party. So look out for that. If we do some fundraisers, please support our fundraisers. And, you know, but anyway, I know I did a lot of talking, you know, in case you guys don't know who I am. I'm Melody. I'm with Wigging Out Radio. The number to call in is uh, 323-965-1600. Again, that number is 323-965-1600. So, you know, Erica and Black made uh, a commercial for the... Um, award show tomorrow so let, let's go in and, and check them up and see what they got to say about this whole uh, award show tomorrow so pay attention this is black rosebud nigga and i won the funniest uh internet host 
on RMC. And we're gonna be holding a war show, a hip hop award show on Wigan Out Radio this Sunday. Nigga, and I'm hot as a motherfucker. I feel like I'm in an interrogation room. But this Sunday, June 12th, I'm gonna give you the address a little later. Down at the box down below. My nigga ain't gonna hook it up later, but this Sunday with Eric and Lindsay. Thank you, Melanie. And we out. This Sunday, catch us live. Red Park. Oh, man, and I love, I love, love, love Black. I really do. I mean, um, thank you, Black, for that. I really, really appreciate it. It was his ideal to do the commercial, so I'm, like, really, really loving it. Like, it's all good. Um, so let's go to 562, God. I don't know why my phone went, like, Ooh. no color. She ain't got no color. Probably because it's going low. Uh, can I have my all right? So, what's up with you guys? 562 God and Halo. Yeah, can I have my charger back? No, <laughs> <laughs> you, we, that, we got that. Uh, this shit is a little occupied right now. It's yeah, cool. like for real. Oh, got another little piece to put in the wall. I gave you the piece now, to put in the wall. No, oh, like I cool. carry extra ones hey, with me. Man, you gotta be extra careful out here too. It's <laughs> so what's up with you guys? You know, introduce yourself. Where you from? What city? Well, um, yeah, my name Halo, man. I'm representing Los Angeles, California. Hey. Up and coming artist. You know what I mean? Hey. And, uh, yeah, I represent Purge, man. Hey, I'm Ten. five six two guy representing Long Beach. Stand the fuck up, boy. Up and coming artist. Y'all already know what that shit do, do. You feel me? <laughs> okay, so what y'all been up to lately? More than everybody else for surely. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. It like really, what? No, seriously, it ain't really work when you love it, so. Yeah. Seriously, know, just... seriously, seriously, man. So we got our we got our mixtape about to come out. Look out for that magazine issue coming out next month for Hoodstar Hood Magazine. Mag. We all in that thing. Yeah, Shout out Dog thing. Crew. Hey. Uh Compton Movement, Long Beach Movement, we all in there with y'all. We all in we out here, man. We got a lot going on. Mixtape about to drop. Got a gang of most shows. Y'all already know. Y'all see us everywhere. Right. Non-stop. You know what I'm saying? So are you guys currently under management? I mean, well, who's making this all happen Let's for you? We're we going to talk about it. Let's talk about Let's it. Let's talk about we it. Was, yeah, we, we independent. You know what Well, I'm right now we're independent. You know what I'm saying? We make our own dollars and keep it in our pocket. But we was under a, a situation management ship. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. stuff got tricky with the with the contract and the paperwork. So we had to throw that thing in reverse. Mm -hmm. And you know, get up out that situation. You know, what I'm okay. Saying? Real quick. So, so I mean, you guys were able to do that, you know, because a lot of times once you put something down on paper, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it until the time has exceeded itself. Most so, definitely. so you guys were able to get out of that. Most definitely. Okay, great. My Most phone definitely. just went dead. We can clean. We slid out that thing so clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. And so. Um. What are you guys looking for? I mean, what what made you guys, you know, consider going under contract, you know, with that person? Well, I mean, I like to think if I speak for, but I like to think we thought it would be simpler. They take, try to take the easy route like every other up and comer. Try to take the easy route, like you know, but it ne the easy route never works out because mm -hmm. you end up empty handed every single time. So. Mm -hmm. We'd rather just take the hard route, but, you know, you pay the hard dollars. Keep all the way in our I body. mean, so and when you got like, the... Did they... Like any other artist, you know, we thinking like, okay, yeah. this going to this gonna help us. This is a big step. This is this is it. Like, yeah, we all... No, no, no. Don't be so, don't be so uh, in a rush to jump into shit, man, because it's... It's not all what it seems. Man. Right. I mean, seems, everybody man. talk a good game. You know what I mean? So, I mean, so were you guys presented with the paperwork? Did you guys, like, go over the paperwork? Or was there even any paper paperwork involved? Was it just talked about? Or what was going on? It, it was paperwork, just the wrong type of paperwork. Yeah. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. it, was the, it wasn't the right words on the paperwork that, that made any sense. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They would, try to just, they would just try to take us for... Um, I guess us being newbies like, to I, it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they just thought we was just dumb or something. Pretty some much. Shit, like, insulted our intelligence, ain't that something? Very much insulted <laughs> our intelligence. Yeah, Pretty I much. mean, they will do that in the industry. You know, that's why they always tell you to get an entertainment lawyer so that lawyer can look over your paperwork, you know. So, I mean, at this point, you guys are back um, independent. And so, what exactly... Um, 
if you do come across someone who want to sign you, what exactly are you looking for? Because this is the time to let people know, you know, I want X, Y, and Z in my contract. I want royalties off the rip. I want royalties off the Straight rip. Straight off the top, royalties. I need, I need everything. And you, got, <laughs> you know, you got you to have more connects than we do. Yeah, right, man. okay. You, we, we can't know the same people. Okay. I don't want to know the same people as you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to actually have a connect and actually able to, you know, it's called a, a product placement. You got to be able to place us somewhere where we're going to be marketable. Right, you know right. Not just have a staggering around with everybody else. You know right. what I'm saying? So most definitely. Just have more connects. Higher up. Higher friends. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, you know, a lot of times, you know, I have dealt with artists myself where I had higher connects. But, you know, when it came down to it, they didn't really want, they weren't ready to meet those higher connects. So was that one of the things that was going on with you guys? Like, let's just say, um, see Low and Bell, you know, hey, I got to connect to that. You know, are you guys, if I put you guys in that position now, are you guys um, ready to meet a person named Steve Low and Bell? Being ready. Been ready. Been okay. Ready. ready for all that. Yeah, that was never the issue. The issue was he didn't know no Steve. Yeah, made, <laughs> mm-hmm. made it seem like it was much more than it was. Yeah. Than it, than it was. It's a lot of facades going on. Right. A whole lot of that. False sell us, don't sell us a dream. That's yeah, well, that's their job. You know, that that's anybody that's trying to... Look, let me just tell you. A manager sees something, you know, well, a potential manager. Doesn't mean they're really label as a manager they go into a venue they see this group you know this group got it cracking okay you, that means you got potential and if i see potential on you that means dollar signs you know what i mean so i'm gonna do whatever i gotta do to tell y'all what y'all want to hear so that you guys can become my clients you know what i mean so it, it's it's a game Most it's definitely. it's it's a big game in the industry you know um that's why, you know, especially on the lower level right now, because, you know, you guys will get there. But I just feel like people see up and coming artists like you guys and you guys have such potential. You know, what I mean, it's just like, I don't know. People just try to get you for everything you got. You know, what I mean, like you could be getting paid a show a thousand dollars and they'll tell you it's three hundred. Easy. Are you willing to do it? You know what I mean? So, that before. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, you just got to be ready. And then a lot of times people is just not ready when they up under management. It's too much hard work. I asked this one guy, I said, are you ready to live this out? We're going to go as hard as AJ. Are you ready? That means if we go as hard as AJ, there is no sleep. Thursday through Sunday, there is no sleep. You lucky if you get sleep Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday, you're going to work a little bit. So it's like you got to be prepared for it mentally, physically, and emotionally, you know. And what about the girls that you guys are dealing with? Do they understand that? Because this industry is not for everybody. Damn girls, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, real talk. It takes oh a certain God. type of woman, it does. you know, to understand what you guys are, what this industry is about. Not just for you guys as men, but also me as a woman, too. You know what I mean? I can't just deal with anybody because people have insecurities when it comes to this music industry most definitely yeah Yeah. so um i understand that you guys did a show with compton av hey yeah and that was wednesday i heard it was nothing but the ladies in the house shout out to everybody show support we took over the show man you took over the show all right shout out shout out shout out so you guys had a nice crowd it was on a wednesday correct on a wednesday on a wednesday on a wednesday and they came out he did that he did that in long beach right in my hometown yes Uh, Okay. Shout out, five, shout out to the Fox exterior area. Hey, you already know, man. I fuck with y'all. I fuck with me. You already know where that go. But yeah, it was crazy. Most definitely, it was crazy. It was success. Man, everybody came out. They mm-hmm. behaved themselves. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Most definitely behaved themselves. Shout mm-hmm. out to the fans. You know, keep y'all composure and everybody. Um, I heard I got a I got a call actually before I got up here, and it was like, um, when y'all left, like the club was empty, <laughs> and like Compton was low-key considering not even performing no more. <laughs> Nobody in there. Oh, okay. so I was like, yeah, man, that just uh, you know, 
Let us know that we, we <laughs> that was our crowd. You know what I'm saying? We brought everybody there. Okay. So yeah. so let me tell you. Uh, let me ask you guys as upcoming artists, how are you guys able to get people to follow you? What are you saying to them? I mean, because a lot of artists want to know this because they claim they have like a hundred fans or fifty fans, and they don't have it. I mean, straight up, they lying. Okay, okay. let me just keep it real with you, club promoters. These upcoming artists, they don't have the fans. You know, they try their best, but they don't have it like that. So, but you guys are kind of like an exception to the rule because I remember I did a thing with you guys in Long Beach, and I was like, okay, I need X amount of people. And you guys you know, almost fulfilled that quota. So, how did you guys do that? What do you tell people to get them to come out to your shows? I mean, you know, we got our fans. You know, we just, you know, we promote our shows. Like, if we got a performance, we'll either put it up on Facebook, Instagram. You know what I mean? We make a couple calls. Okay. You know, and yeah, and we it, let them know. It's, let, it's a lot of promoting, but a lot more talent. You got to actually have a yeah. talent that people... And they love us. Yeah, willing to pay for it. You know, love like that. I always tell my boy, mm-hmm. it's a package deal. You got to have the talent, the look, the charisma. It's a lot going to be in the art. You can't right. just know how to rap. That's not going to cut. That's not going to make somebody want to come and see you. Right. You got to actually have the look, the charisma, the stage presence, the personality. It's a, we got all that. We, we, we and they love with, it. Yeah, we put blessed with, bless with the, <laughs> the gift and the curse, but we making it work. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right, right, So it right. takes a lot, but you most definitely just got to, you know, have that package deal. And unfortunately, everybody ain't got it. Yeah, and that's true. You, I, I tell people all the time, I mean, it's one thing if you can rap, but if you look like a straight bum, like homeless everybody. on the street, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but we have seen certain people yeah. like that succeed, you know, True. once they got cleaned up. But, you know, people, that's not the exactly. first thing yeah, people are going to look at, <laughs> you know what I mean? But you're right. You have to have the whole package deal. And that's what a lot of artists have to understand. Okay, I'm sitting here rapping. Why isn't people following me? Every time I do a show and ask people to come out, you know, why aren't they coming? You know what I mean? I'm by myself, if I, if I talk to certain people, I can at least get 30 people out, 40 people out, and I'm not even an artist, you know what I mean? So, how can an underground person like myself that's doing radio can do that, but a simple artist cannot, can't even get one or two people out, like, you know, just the issue, yeah. so, and It's yeah. a lot harder in this generation, too, because, like, yeah. <laughs> geez, like, you, can't, you can barely get your family members to come out and support you, let alone, like, a high key strangers so yeah. it's a lot of work it, it, we just make it look easy it's a lot of work though behind the scenes for surely I mean do you guys pay for these people to come out Ooh, no 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 oh. no that's not the game we try to make money not give away money you know what I'm right. saying oh, help us on the way right <laughs> yeah, right come see us. Yeah, is I'm there a promise is, you, do you promise these people yeah, anything yeah, you know, so you don't say if I come up or whatever, you know, I'm gonna make sure you get blessed along the way. Or nah, like, like I said, I, if I tell people to come to us, I'm gonna make sure you, you know, you you there and you're gonna feel like you want it there. You know, I show mm-hmm. everybody an equal amount of attention. Everybody that comes support me, okay. you know, so you gotta know how to work the crowd till you right. Can, just because you brought your girl or your whoever, you can't be booed up. You gotta work the crowd and make everybody right. feel welcome and wanted. And you right. know what I'm saying? And that that's nothing that got us along the way too. You know, we welcome all our guests with open arms, and even if it's only if only 10, 15 show up right we go act like a thousand just showed up right you know mm-hmm. and possessed. you guys you did do that last yeah, night i'm a witness <laughs> and you know you guys did you guys wasn't all booed up that that now that's true it'd be a lot of artists that come into like um a venue get ready to perform and they be all booed up like man i can't talk to you right now my girl is right here you know and then i may even step to and be like oh what's up this is your girlfriend yeah, 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 it's my girl. I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? I got the hint, you know what I mean? But in the industry, too, you guys cannot deal with the significant other if they're gonna be jealous. Period. If you got a jealous female, a jealous yeah. male, and they say they understand the business, but as soon as you turn around and you be like, oh, how you doing, 562 guy, and you turn back around and that person got an attitude, that person's not right yeah. for you while you are no in the industry. Industry. It ain't even. It ain't even just your girlfriend. It's period. You don't let nothing period. get. In, you don't let nothing get in the way of this. Nothing. Mm-hmm. nothing. You feel yeah. me? This is you. This is your main priority. This is. Yeah. This is what it is, and this is what it's gonna be. Yeah, you know, and I, I, you know, I really appreciate you guys. I mean, you know, um, we just met on a flute or whatever. But I can say you. You know, I can 
tell you guys that you got your shit together. You know what I mean? Not too many artists do. You know what I mean? Especially underground artists, independent artists. They don't have it like that, but they talk a good game. I put them in a few shows, and they become Hollywood on me. Like, like for real? Like, you're, why are you becoming Hollywood? Do not become Hollywood. Stay humble. Pray. A lot of the, like, what's his name? Steve Harvey is always praying. You know what I mean? You see a lot of comedians before they go on stage, they are praying. This industry is evil to me. And if you ain't got God in it, man, you messed up. Straight up. So what kind of song you brought for us today? Let's check it out. Well, I brought my friend. My play is, <coughs> but... I got my phone right here. He got though. his phone, but... um, I brought a couple songs, man. One of my... One of my yeah, my hit single that I'm pushing right now is called Martin and Chill, man. It's going crazy right now, man. I, I brought it out. So, you know, let the people hear it, man. Okay, let's it go. It's crazy. Turn up. Turn up. Go turn up with this Martin and Chill. What that shit is? Ready, yo, ready. Ready, 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 ready. You welcome. Mix master. Kids with the babysitter, uh, and you and Claire out your whole agenda. Well, morning. girl, what's really on your agenda? Temptation got me playing them temptations. All of this fucking way, and I should have married a waitress. Wait, hold on, don't mistake that for complaining. Cause tonight, yeah, yeah, all about demonstration. Martin and chill, yeah, yeah, I know the deal. They copping feelings, I'm trying to cop a feel for real. But let me fall back on all that, all that, oh, fall back. Cuddle season, Martin and Chill, we got that whole season. Girl, I can get used to this. Used to this. So why you acting like you new to this? Like you never chilled on a sofa. You know what a real one. Brand not a liquor, make a store run. Remy Martin and Martin and Chill got me on one. So girl, what you try to do? Netflix and Chill, see that's so news. They got us yelling what they do that at. They got us yelling what they do that at. Some couples pop bottles. Oh man, that that song was tight, like for real. That that that's artists like you 
bring the level of Wicked Out Radio up. You know what I'm saying? We trying to come up. And, I, and you're right on that level. You're right there. It's just a matter of the right person to seeing this and getting a hold to you. You guys hold charisma and everything. Um, I wanted to ask you guys about the young lady that you guys had last night at the venue singing. I mean, you, you guys don't know. <clears throat> You know, I was standing over to the side, and guys were going crazy uh, regarding that girl. What is her name? Her name is D. Hey, shout out D. D. Part of the okay. squad. She down with the purge, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's, you know, everybody in the squad got talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dope. Okay, so um, is she going to be, is she going to perform with you guys tomorrow at the awards show? Are you going to give her that opportunity? I think you should. I'm yeah. requesting it. All right, for sure. Since you're requesting it, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If I if we can get her to pull up, then yes, yeah, we're gonna get up there. Yeah, you she's know, we, very we, we talented. You know, we, we all be busy, so you know, but hopefully I can get it, uh, get a hold of her. Yeah, cause I think she just man, she just put the icing on on your whole group. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that was a little song we did. In, uh, it's called Connection. Yeah, yeah finessing. Uh huh. So, um, Hollow, do you have a song that you know? Do you have a single you're trying to push? Yeah, but like a lot of my music is not finished. So okay. I, can, I got something I can play for you. If you want me to. Okay, you got it now. Yeah. Okay, what's it called? It's Let's called. do it. It's called On Like Shit. Oh, yeah, it's on his phone. Yeah, it's on my phone, though. Oh, it's on your phone? Yeah, if you got the ox score, probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, right now, while we're handling that, maybe we should go to the commercial with Erica Lindsay talking to... Huh? Yeah, talking about the um, awards show tomorrow at the Jasper Bar. Let's go. Y'all, it's your girl, E. Missy K, host of the Wigging Out Hip... Pop Entertainment Awards. Make sure you check us out at the Seaport Hotel in the city of Long Beach on June the 12th with me and my boy, Black Rosebud. So it just a reminder that yes, we were having it at the Seaport Hotel, but we ha- it has now changed. It's been announced all week. The a- address is 3672 South Bristol Street. Um, it's in Santa Ana. It's going to be at the Jasper Bar and Grill. So like I said, we have over 100 people who have RSVP and that's coming out that's been nominated for award. I'm hoping that they take this seriously you'll kind of see where they are in their career because either they're gonna come and get their award and all that's gonna do is make them more noticeable but if they just take it as a flute like it's no big deal then you pretty much know how they feel about their career you know what i mean so i mean to me the way you present yourself whether you come out and honor what you got going on it it, it makes you people take a look at that like um halo and um m562 god they got an award yesterday can people see your award oh they see that thing oh. no we don't see that oh, thing wait, hold on. Let me, let me. Okay. Yeah, y'all see that thing. yeah, so they came out. <clears throat> you know, they knew that they were in the award show. They came out as team players. They bought some people out. They had those people vote. See, that just tells me, like, where they are as far as their career is concerned. You know what I mean? Everybody want to be glorified for what they do and stuff like that. But you got to put in the work. A lot of people just don't put in the work. You know what I mean? And... And no sponsors or nobody gonna back you up if you're not working hard yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just, just the way it is. That's why I'm gonna cut some people. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, I'm having open calls um, on the 19th in Hollywood for any man or woman artist, whatever that want to come out for the Wicked Out. Um, oh my God, lit tour. Um, just so you know where I got that name from, we did a show February 7. Wicked Out was um, the host of an RJ show, and um, 
RJ went crazy. So you guys got to look it up. It was the after party. Um, RJ was the headliner of the show. And he went, man, he went from zero to a hundred. And so he named a song called Oh My God. And that came from, and he talked about what he did in that particular show, which was my show. You know, I'm like, oh my God. Like when he did all that myself, I was thinking like, oh my God. So that's where I got the name from. Oh my God Lit Tour. We've been going pretty good. We got some awesome um, artists on them on this whole tour. And we just want them bring in the ladies now bring in a few more men and let's do let's just go extremely hard for this summer but you got to be serious it is an audition fee um you can call me at 562-7078 again it's 562-506-7078 if you are not serious about your career please don't call me because i ain't got time for it so with that being said are we got his music ready all right all right let's do it i gotta uh announce it uh-huh go ahead this one right here this is my little r&b joint right here called time to heal man i just uh you know i just recorded it a couple of days ago let me check me out it's okay boy Halo. time to heal Turn up. 
I hope the League of Stars is, is, is checking these artists out. You know what I mean? Because when you got artists, you know, it's funny to me because sometimes you can get a group of artists together and they can't do it without each other. You feel me? Like, they have to be, like, together in order to make it happen. But when you got a team and each member of your team can can know how to pull a great song off by themselves, you know what I mean, without needing the other person. I mean, I think that's great. It's not too many groups that, that can do that. I got members now that be like, no, I can't do this song without whoop de woo you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think y'all ready. I think y'all ready, you know what I mean? I think, um, you know, just bring the Lord into it, praise God, and um, I, I think it can happen, you know, it's just all around about getting into the right place at the right time and getting to know the right people. What are you guys um, going to do for the BET Awards? You know, what, what's, your, what's your marketing strategy? Because that's going to be your time. <laughs> what are we going to do f- for the awards? They're, um, the, uh, the, sh- the show is June 26th, but the whole BET weekend probably starts, like, I want to say June 23rd, 24th, somewhere around there. So, so you know, we're we not gonna be out. We're gonna be way in Palm Springs. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got some whole other network out there. So, oh really? You know, when it's our time to be a big tier, when they pay us to be there, we'll be there. But we, you know, yeah. we got some whole other stuff going on in Palm Springs. Oh, you do? So, yeah. Okay. You know, say when they when they pay us to be there, we most definitely gonna be there when it's our time. I mean, yeah. that'll be your time. You know, you guys do have a team of females. You know, what I mean, so you know if they could. Drop some and you know slide some of your CDs out there. Oh, that yeah. would be good, you know, them. because you guys are very talented. You know what I mean? And I think you should cover all angles. You know what I mean? So definitely do that. What about any shows coming up in Vegas? You guys got any shows coming up in Vegas? Were you guys part of that mansion um, party that would just happen? I think about a week or two ago. Who was it? Uh, I mm. believe John Eaton was no, part of it, and ALB Fingers, and the whole ALB crew. No, but it's like an all-white mansion party on Monday. Showtime. Uh, we were invited uh, to. Showtime. Okay, okay, showtime. okay. Showtime. So, I mean, so you guys do, so you guys are performing tomorrow. And then what is your week like? I mean, what, what does Ooh. it consist of? Well, well, I live in Long Beach, live in L.A., so when we not, you know, together, we both do gang other stuff. I know he busy, but I know, speaking from my week, mm-hmm. I'm charging people for uh, future, so a lot of people have been hitting me up to hop on their track, so if, when I'm not performing, I'm in the studio. Okay. Like, I live, that's my home away from home. I'm always in the studio. So home. do you go to a studio out here in, in Long Beach? or is Everywhere. It... I okay. Studios everywhere, but then again, like if somebody... I like my boy, I forgot his name, but he want me to go on this song. Like, if he want me on this song, we going to your studio because you're paying. You know what I'm saying? Because you want right. me, so, you know, we ain't going to my studio. Right. But, yeah, so I be in a lot of studios, you know what I'm saying? And who produced your tracks? Mix. Shout out Mix Masters, man. Hey, shout out to Mix watching. Masters. Shout man, out dude, Mix dope. Masters. The dopest, the realest. Yeah. And he's, in Long, he's in Long Beach. That's oh. our personal, you know, um, studio we go to, our engineer. He's the dopest. And he worked with names like, you name, you throw your name, and he worked with them. You know, okay. real people go through there. A A list rappers go through there. Oh, so I'm, really? I'm, it's an honor that he even you know work with us, and he even put his tag on our songs. Mix Masters, when you hear that, like mm-hmm. that's him. Oh. So yeah, he the truth. Shout out Mix Masters, man. He the truth. Yeah, he got I our mean, sound A one. He, <laughs> so, I'm, he for dope. real. I need to holler at you, Mix Master. Yeah, like dope. real talk. Yeah, he, he's the and he's out of Long Beach. Out of Long Beach, most wow. definitely. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. You know the sound effect, Mix Master. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are yeah. you guys married? No. Nope. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm, single. I'm single. I'm single. I mean, you know. I ain't got no ring. I'm single. That mean that the men don't wear rings a lot of times. <laughs> nah. I ain't what about no a ring. special lady in your life? There is a special lady. There's always a special lady. There's always yeah. a special lady, but, you know. We're not going to get petty. I'm not, yeah. I'm We're not, not going to. We ain't potentially going. piss nobody off. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just, just, I just, you know, I just did a whole triangle. Just, yeah, just know that there's a special lady. There's a special lady. You know what I'm saying? This but, shit is ridiculous, man. You know, there's most definitely a special lady for surely. Yeah. Well, you know. You know uh, shout, out, shout out to that special lady. You know who you are, girl. You know who you are. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You know who you are. We ain't got to get petty. You know. 
All right. So if you want to talk to Halo and 562 God, and yeah, again, call. the number is 323-965-1600. Again, the number is 323-965-1600. Why don't we go to a commercial right now? Hey. Maybe a... a Pet bull. Oh, you know, Neon is trying to holler at me. What's up, Neon? You you guys want to sponsor me? You know, the hey. Neon Energy Drink? Yeah. Oh, yeah? So, I yeah. Know yeah. It is. Yeah. Up in here. It's oh. about that time. It's about that time. That sponsor going. This shit bomb, too. Everybody just drunk. Yeah, from Pet Bull. Bomb. Yeah, you drink should drink. you should try the regular drink. The, the regular Pet the regular Bull. One. I like the regular Pet Bull. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know me. I don't drink. You ready to go to that commercial? Let's go. Turn up there. In so many ways I can So he just did it drinking that uh, Red Bull, but Red Bull is good, too. I like that, too. Um, so what can we expect from your performance tomorrow? I mean, what do we have to look forward to? Well, what y'all wearing, first of all? Well, know. I mean, I ain't got nothing. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm, I'm about to throw on some Stacey Adams for surely. I'm about to get real GQ tomorrow, you know what I'm okay. saying? And every day I get to get GQ. I'm always in that urban wear. Right. So I'm, about, I'm about to get real GQ for surely. I don't even know what I'm going to wear, but I'm going to be dope, though, for sure. Okay. Bro. How long have you guys been friends? Years. Yeah, <laughs> Years. Oh, boy, man. Just like, what, 07? Yeah. Just like 07. Okay, well, that's not... Well, perfect timing. Well, okay. <laughs> it's we'll, perfect say, time. we'll say that. Okay, and so what made you guys... Did you guys meet off of based of music, or you guys just met each other? How did it go? To be honest with you, yeah, we met off music. the music. Yeah, of most music. definitely yeah. off music. Oh, it was? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we Beating got no a caller. tables and rapping. <laughs> we got a caller. Oh, yeah? All right. oh, sooky, sooky now. I never unwrap my things. Got Melody on the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Caller, this is Melody with Wigging Out Radio. Hello. Hi. I want to give a shout out to 562 God and Halo. You guys hey. are doing a great hey, job. I'm proud up. of you guys. Turn up. Hey, boy. I really appreciate that. Who is that right there? Who is it? This is Hazel. Hey, hey what's shout out, Hazel. What's happening? <laughs> shout out, Hazel. What's the deal, fool? Turn up. Thanks. Turn up. I'm proud of you guys, though, for real, though. So, Hazel, you going to come out and see them perform tomorrow? Of course I'm going to come out and uh, show my support and my love to them. That's what's hey. up. That's what's up. We appreciate you, and thank you for calling in. Thank you. Okay. Hey, so, so, again, if you want to call in, the number is 56... Oh, no, sorry. 323-965-1600. So, um... I'm going to um, take a minute. Are you guys going to perform live on, on the show today? I mean, we could. That ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? Did you guys bring a song to perform live? Uh, yeah. yeah, we got all the show. We got all the songs in there. Okay. Well, we definitely want to. Um, We're we going to get that prepared. And while, while we doing that, you know, I'll just talk a little bit about the award show. Again, tomorrow the award show is in Santa Ana's at the Jaspers. Um, the address is 3672 South Bristol Street. Um, it's $15 to get in. If you are not a nominee, it's $15. No, this year we don't have no free guest passes. Why? Because this is our first year. So people always want something to, to um, for free. And I feel you, but, I mean, we're growing. Maybe the next year we'll be able to let each nominee um, be able to get a guest in for free. But this year we got bills to pay. We got certain performances coming out. So we just want you to please understand. I mean, I appreciate everybody that support this. One thing I want to say, too, is you guys, 
I'm not mailing your um your if you win and you're too good to come out tomorrow to receive your award, don't expect me to waste my stamp gotcha. or whatever right, right. to mail it out to you. Cause yeah, if you don't feel it's important to you, then I don't feel like oh, it's important right. to you either. So that's just you know what I'm saying this is business. You know, you gotta appreciate when somebody's trying to sure, give you sure something out of the all. love and the kindness. Yeah, 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 and because we, people we, we voted we, we, for you and they believed in you and you got nominated and you won and you still can't come and get it. Man, that's going to let a lot of people down, like straight up. You know, it's going to let me down because they're going to be like, well, Melody, what's up? Why that person's not here? I don't know what to tell them, but they won't. I won't be mailing no trophies to their house. If they can't come get in, act like they appreciate it, you know, then, hey, treat others the way you want to be treated. Straight up. <clears throat> Last night we had um, this book going around. Um, this was the uh, finished um Voting, so we had this um, book going around where people could come out last night and vote. So um, I made my little wig it out, but I just I did a black and white copy of it, um, and basically it's just like some memories of like how wigging out started out. Um, I actually, um, whether you guys know it or not, I really my show started in Beverly Hills. Um, I was on film on media, so it actually, I'm trying to find, here we go. It started off in, um, it was like a real talk show. I don't know if you guys can see that. It was like a real talk show. And so I started off doing film on media. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the callers, because we got callers coming in for oh, you sure. now. It's popping. What's there? What's going on? Hello, this is Melody with Wigging Out Radio. What's going Hello? on? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. This is Christina. Hey, uh, I know. <laughs> okay. Shout out to the church. Hey. Shout out to Christina. Hey, good luck. We appreciate it. All right, Christina. Hold on. I got somebody else I want to give a shout out. Hold on. Uh Uh-oh. Turn up. Yeah, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up, turn up. up. (laughs) Yeah, baby. Shout out to y'all, man. Halo 562. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. We out here. Yeah, y'all know what it is, man. Just uh, (laughs) doing what y'all do, man. For sure. We out here. Appreciate it. You already know the deal. Appreciate Already tomorrow night we on. We oh, you know it. <laughs> turn up, turn, turn up. up, turn up. Turn <laughs> up. All right. Thank you. Thank is, you. Is there anybody else, Christina? Oh, hello. This is Melody. We're wigging out radio. Hey, Melody. I just want to call and show some love to five six two and Halo. Oh, hey. Hey. hey, what's the deal? I really appreciate that. Shout I, out. What's the deal? What's your name? This is Emily. Uh, I met both these guys a few months ago. Okay. And just been following their music ever since. Uh, Shout out to that show on Wednesday with Compton AV. That shit was turnt. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. Turn up. (laughs) Just keep doing your guys' thing. You're doing a great job. Appreciate it, man. We out here. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate you. Always. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we got another caller. Oh, <laughs> Hi, this is Melody. Hi. We're waking out radio. Right. Hello, is the purse still there? They ah. still here. Boy! 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 So in the building, nigga. Turn up. Oh. What's up, bro, bro? How y'all doing, hey, man? Hey, what's up? I, I appreciate y'all, man, and y'all success, man. Y'all got to keep keep up the good work, man. Hey, man, we appreciate it. Hey, who is that right there? What's your who is? It's popping up there, man. It's prolific, and you do hey, know that. Hey, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Church on the move, baby. Hey, 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 turn up. Bro. Hey, you coming out tomorrow, fool? Yeah, I'm there, bro. I'm there with y'all, man. Where's there it at? It's, it's going. Where's it at, Melody? It's at the Jasper. The address is 3672 South uh, Bristol Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I, I, yeah, I've been to Jasper's with my niggas, man. Hey, hey, That's hey, right. y'all, y'all, hey, hey, who the plug? 
Who the plug? Who the plug? Who the plug? Who the plug? They, they, they don't. Want me to meet the plug? Hang out. Hey, you do know that, man. I gotta show my respect to my nigga, to my boys, man. You feel me? Much respect to y'all. Keep up the good work, man. You know, we in the building. Much love, All right. We got another caller. Thank you. Hello, this is Melody with Wigging Out Radio. Speak your piece. Hi, this is Daryl This is D. Hey, D. This is D right here. Hey, this is D right here. Oh, okay. I want to give a shout out to 562 God and Halo. Hey. Is this the single? <laughs> Let them know. Good job. Um, and I'm proud of them. It's a long road ahead of us. Uh huh. And you're going to be right along with them because you're very talented yourself. This is Melody with Wigging Out Radio. Speaking peace. Hi, this is Daryl Lennon. This is me. Hey, this is D right here. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what that is. We'll turn up. Halo. My phone. Her phone echo. Shout out D. She recording it. Shout out to D, though. Shout out D, though, man. We are here. All right. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Okay, bye. Wow, that was lit. All right. She wasn't recording it. She was probably watching it. Oh, she was. Oh, That's what she, she was doing. She was watching it, it yeah. on her phone. And she, she had the phone probably super close to the, to the situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, we get ready. Um, get out of here. Huh? Oh, are you guys going to perform? Right, let's do it. Okay. And then just to let you guys know, I want to hold up this plaque for the person who brings 100 plus people. And I'm talking about the ones that's not nominated. I mean, you're nominated. But if you bring out 100 plus fans, not only do you get a plaque in front of everybody, you also get a chance to perform tomorrow and you get some cash. So let's cash. you get some cash. Some so let's money, make no. it happen. Some money. <laughs> All right. For sure, for sure. Five six two God and Halo oh. the Purge. Just get ready to perform. Where we at with it? We over here, where we at with it? Anyone? Yeah, you over there. Are we over here? Let's get this uh-huh. live performance going then. You know how this go. Yep. So let's make do. it happen. Go ahead and press that play button to make it better. You ready? It's that real shit, that real shit. <laughs> Mix masters, mix masters. Don't turn that thing off. Yeah. It's that real shit. shit. That real shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Real. Real. Turn up. Real. Look. Man, I ain't never had much. So when I pull up, they be like, what did he want? Man, I ain't never cashed out. So when I cash out, they be like, what did he want? Nah. Man, my name is two H's, I done made it in the building, but I'm still keeping it basement. basement. With all the temptation, I could have been the fifth members up on the temptations. But I come from a city, you know, Nate Dogg, Snoop Dogg, and Goldie Law. But a nigga never switching up, unless I'm hopping out my bins to my foreign truck. What up? Man, I ain't never had much, so when I pull up, they be like, what did he want? Man, I ain't never cashed out. So when I cash out, they be like, what did he what? Man, I ain't never had much. So when I pull up, they be like, what did he what? Hey, man, I ain't never cashed out. So when I cash out, they be like, talk to him, Halo. Went from nothing to a whole lot of shit. And every time they see me, they can't help but stare and stop. I'm eating good, wicked clean, so with no the dirty box sitting on the level. You ain't reaching here up at the top. Hey. I know they feel it in they stomach when they see me shining. They shine it. So I make sure the curtains open just to slightly blind them. Hey. Bitch, she's trying to hide from you, but she want me to find her. Ain't looking for nothing but money, certified grinder. That's my nigga hey, Halo right here. We the purge, though. We out here. What? Hey, hey, this it's that, that real, real shit. shit. That real shit. This shit go crazy. <laughs> Turn up. Real. That million dollar. Talk to him. Look. Man, I ain't never had much. So when I pull up, they be like, what did he want? Man, I ain't never cashed out. So when I cash out, they be like, what did he want? Man, I ain't never had much. So when I pull up, they be like, what did he want? Man, I ain't never cashed out. So when I cash out, they be like, what did he want? Hey. Bird. Bird know the building, man. You already know. Hey, shout out to Melody. Looking at our radio. Turn up.
as far oh, as how they can get in contact with you, your social media. So let's go. <laughs> hey, yes. you know, wait, hold on. Y'all yeah, know what it is. Okay, first off, I'm 562 God. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, 562 God. Twitter, 562 God. Facebook, 562 God. It's just as simple as that. There it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, you hit me up on uh, Facebook, Halo Got Bars. Uh, Instagram, listen to Halo. Listen to number two Halo. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can hit me on Twitter. It's um, Halo underscore the lyrical one. And Snapchat, man. F I G U 3 R O A T 3, man. That's my Snapchat. Get at me. Oh, yeah. You, that was a lot right there. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> so, with that being said, this is Melody. Hey. I'm your host of Wigging Out Radio and the Oh My God Lit Tour. Yep. And I'll see you tomorrow at the first annual Wigging Out Hip Hop and Entertainment Awards. Hey. Find me on um, Instagram at Wiggin' Out, W-I-G-G-I-N-N-O-U-T underscore Melody, M-E-L-O-D-Y, A-L-L-E-N. And it's just Melody Allen on Facebook. Look me up. Be there. You guys, let's get it cracking tomorrow. It's going to be lit, right? Lit? Let's go. Bye. Ready, you ready, 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 Kids with the babysitter, uh, and you and Claire doubt your whole agenda. Well, girl, what's really on your agenda? Temptation got me playing them temptations. All of this fucking way, and I should have married a waitress. Wait, hold on, don't mistake that for complaining. Cause tonight, yeah, yeah, all about demonstration. Martin and chill, yeah, yeah, I know the deal. They copping feelings, I'm trying to cop a feel for real. But let me fall back on all that, all that, oh, fall back. Cuddle season, Martin and Chill, we got that whole season. Girl, I could get used to this. Used to this. So why you acting like you new to this? Like you never chilled on a sofa. You know what a real one. Real not a liquor, make a store run. Remy Martin and Martin and Chill got me on one. So girl, what you try to do? Netflix and Chill, see that's so news. They got us yelling what they do that at. They got us yelling what they do that at. Some couples pop by. Just smiling and chill